In my opinion, what will substitute oil, just as oil substituted coal in the past, will be local energy, not anyone in specific. Smart grids are the only way that this would be made possible. We're in Guyana today. Another great NL Focus On event. Uh, we had influences from Europe, Latin America, from Romania, Italy, Spain, Brazil, Colombia, Peru. A really fantastic discussion. The centralized way of sort of distributing energy is now becoming individualized and you have computation added at every sort of point and you also have production and consumption happening at the same places where people can have you know, solar grids or they can have wind power and they can both take and produce energy. The objective of the smart grid is to increase the quality of the customers, to manage the intermittent flow of the energy injected by renewable internet metal in the best efficient way. What we are doing today is to move up all our application and system into the cloud for increasing the efficiency of the network and for delivering the best service to our customers. I hope that Smart Grids give us uh, more uh, accessibility to a lot of things and, and makes our life easier every day. That my house tells me where I have to buy when I come back to work and things like that. We can think of a place where we can save energy, save money, and make uh, things better for every consumer. Now with renewables and with smart grids, we can do energy wherever we are. This is a big transition from you know, what you were doing in 19th, 20th century to the 21st century computation. The transition to a 100% renewable energy world implies a lot of changes in the way that energy is produced and then distributed. And this is why smart grids are necessary. We are here to enable businesses, governments, municipalities to deliver value for their citizens, for their customers. The role of Enel is to helping people to generate and deliver and share that value amongst themselves.